Okay, YouTube, welcome back to Fent Noobs, World of Tanks with the Flying Fent. This is episode number 239, and uh, I wrote down murder priorities right from the episode where I first went over them. So, because I kept kind of jumping around, right? I, I couldn't remember what it was. So just to recap, T-80, Martyr 38T, uh, M4, uh, down here, M4, uh, Bishop Artillery, and AMX Artillery. That's Tier 1. Next line of priorities is KV-1 and uh, M8A1. And then the last line of priorities is the VK-30-01H. It's in here, actually, over there. And the Covenanter in here, right there. And the SU-85B. So that's our, our, our list. Now, today I'm probably only going to get a chance to do uh, one episode. So we're going to play it smart. We're going to start off with our one artillery battle as I, I do every episode. So one artillery. Then we will hop into the Martyr 38T. Then the M4. I'm sorry. Then we'll hop into T80. Then the Martyr 38T. And then the M4. Uh, which, of course, won't be the M4. It'll be the Fury because that's where the crew is. Uh, and then if I get a chance, I will probably still focus on the premium tanks just because I still need money. Uh, so once I get the primary line done, I'm not really going to worry about the secondary line at this point. I'm just going to try and get some premium tanks for money. If I manage to get the premium tanks done as well uh, and still be in the first episode, then I can reevaluate from there. Uh, that guy wants... To, I was going to say I should cover the valley because I got to get up close anyway, but if he's going to do it, fine. I better head out to town then. Uh, unfortunately, the enemy has uh, real artillery, it looks like. Yeah, they have three real artillery. So, I think they have the upper hand artillery-wise. I think we have the upper hand heavy tank-wise, though, so we'll see. We shall see. Oh, somebody's already hit the KV-1. That's interesting. I wonder who was taking that shot. Or was it just a lucky shot, maybe? It's another question worth asking. If it was just a lucky shot, then we don't really have to worry about it. But was it? Acquiring minds want to know. I'm hoping I can manage to be of some use despite being in a city. We'll see. Uh, where's this BT-7? It's over here. Oh! Oh, here we go. I wanted to clutch because I didn't know how long this guy would be staying in the cap- in my, uh... Area of fire there. Come on, hurry up. Oh, and he backed away. Just in the nick of time. Got no shot on that KV-1S. Buildings are in the way on these T-14s. I'm worried this T-14 is going to have me spotted, though, as soon as I turn this corner. Well, I'm not spotted, I don't think, but I also have no angle on him. Now I might. He's 
There's gonna be nothing left for me to shoot at in a moment. I'm, I'm getting very frustrated with this tank. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. Uh, this is still a very hard artillery to play because it's not really artillery, you know? Target acquired. Target unlocked. There's a miss. I almost got my gun on him. At some point, though, you just... I can't get shots on anybody. I'm not going to sit there and do nothing. I'm not going to be worthless. I'm going to at least rush in and get one or two shots before I go down. Because it's just frustrating for me. I hate doing that. I don't like sitting on the outside. Uh, T-80, here we go. I mean, I don't mind it if I can actually shoot, right? But that's just such a useless artillery if you're playing it as artillery. Although, you know, I did upgrade the gun. I didn't even check to see if the range was any better. So I probably should have done that. But still, it's just... Ugh. I don't like that bishop. I get the impression I'm not going to like the birdie any better, the FV-304. But at least the FV-304 will have speed, so I'll be able to play a little bit more effectively, I think. So a bunch of people are going to go north there around, that's fine. People seem to like the T-67, eh? Hmm. Interesting. Enemy armor is damaged. Still tracking him? Oh, he's dead. Good. Oh, there's artillery shooting at me. Among other things. Such as the UE-57. Well, he rammed me. 
I mean, I kind of rammed him, but he was coming at me pretty hard too. So it was a equal opportunity ram there. Uh, in any case, there's the T80 dud. Next on the list was the Martyr 38T. Malinov Cup. Okay. Uh, interesting. They got a Hummel and a birdie. We've got a two birdies. Oh, shoot. Well, nuts. And I'm on the far right flank. I don't really want to be on the far right flank. I'm going to be honest. You want to take the hill, do you? All right. Well, I will provide token support on the hill. And by token, I mean token. I'm actually going to sit right now, right, right here for now. In fact, that's how token my token support is going to be. Can I see this guy? Doesn't matter, he's dead. Can I see this guy? Yes, I can. Uh, one in our bishop. Good. Get a win with some times five. Hopefully I did something in that game to get a little bit of XP. I don't think I can pen that guy anyway, even if I wanted to. And then defeated in the fjords on our T-80, that's kind of what we expected to see happen, I think. No shocker there. We didn't even scratch them. It'd be a good spot to watch for these flankers. I think somewhere in here. I'm gonna have no support, but we'll see. I don't know if I like that spot particularly. More, there we go. It's hard to do this shooting through a bush thing because you can't really see them. Enemy armor is damaged. Got him. We didn't penetrate their armor. 
Well, keep shooting. Maybe you'll penetrate next time. We track them or something? There we go, dead. They've only got one left. And it's a birdie out in the open field. We're never going to get there in time, but we might as well start heading that way. Game over, we win. Good. I don't think I did too bad there. It helped the team out at least, right? I mean, detailed results are unavailable. The battle literally just finished. Uh, so we got 3,300 there in our martyr. Uh, the loss in the fjords. Yeah, wasn't our finest hour. We're still kind of middle of the pack, bottom middle, but middle of the pack. And then we won uh, in our bishop. Okay, good. We need more wins in that bishop. We're already up to $4,000. Holy smokes. Get the better radio. We hit elite. Why am I getting two of everything? I don't know what's going on here, game. You need to figure your stuff out. All right, so we're back to the T-80 then. So it'll be this, and then we're over to the uh, to the Fury. These stupid childproof. There we go. Couldn't get open the cough syrup because it's childproof. It's not one of the push down in turn, although those give me trouble as well. It's the thing where you squeeze the sides in turn. I guess I was squeezing the wrong place. Okay. Uh, I might go up on the hill and spot down into the valley. But I'm not sure. I feel like the bulk of my team isn't going to be here. And I don't want to be where the bulk of my team isn't. Sorry there, A20. I'm not sure where you're trying to go. But given the fact that I'm headed this way, we're obviously wanting to go in different directions. I kind of regret going this way. It looks very steep. Yes, so steep, in fact, that it's impassable. That's impassable. What about this way? This looks better. Panzer's taking damage from somebody. Probably that medium over there. Can we get some... Can't spot him from here. There we go. Killed our 2G and then abandoned the position. Okay. That guy across the way that I shot at a couple of times. I'd like to move up here, but staying in cover. How come he can see me and I can't see him? That's kind of nonsense, isn't it? Oh, and there's the artillery. Getting in on the fun. Oh, my team is not in good shape. I was just going to say how long I'm going to have to wait for support to show up. And the answer is a long ass time. Yeah, I'm not going to waste a repair kit. I think we're obviously losing. I don't want to spend 1500 bucks or 3000 bucks or whatever it is. I don't know if they're still on sale uh, for losing battle.
Uh, so that's unfortunate. We're going to lose the T-80 again. So then it was on to the M4, which is the Fury. The crew's in the Fury. In case you're new and you don't understand what I'm talking about. Yes, the Fury is an M4. It's a type of M4. But I have an M4 crew that I'm working on training up. They're currently driving my Fury. That's that's what I'm going on about here. Uh, I got another 20 minutes roughly. Okay. So I'll probably get three or four more battles in. So we'll do this. We'll go back to the T-80 and then uh, the KV-1 crew. So the Churchill 3, I guess. Yeah, let's. We've only got one artillery, and it is a M12. Ooh, it's good artillery. That's funny, we both stopped for each other. Is nobody coming this way? Okay, there's a few coming this way. Good. Top. There we go. We made it. Yeah, and we lost in our T-80. Kind of just saw that one coming a mile away. I was just going to say, do I really want to go over this ridge? The answer is no. No, I do not. Commander, we can't see what's going on. We didn't penetrate their armor. Look at 1S, I'm coming by. I need me some cover. Dang it, who shot me there? Must have been artillery, right? Had to have been artillery. Stop shooting at me, artillery! There's other tanks out there. They're more important than me. This is a premium, I bought my way. I don't know what I'm doing. Don't waste your ammo on me. Okay, there's one down. Come on, artillery, deal with that IS now. It doesn't have a lot of health left either. Good. Tank's not in great shape here. Uh, there's really anywhere to do this with even a little bit of artillery cover. Uh, arg. Not a fan of that scenario. <laughs> okay, I think I'm still outside spotting. So I should be okay. Alright, now no one can see him. Alright, someone's gonna have to go spot him. Might as well be me. 
If I die, I die. Sure, I've been spotted now. Yep. All right, guys, I spotted him for you. Kill him. Artillery can so shoot me from here. Among other things. <coughs> Pretty sure artillery is going to get me before this track's fixed. Oh, maybe not. Fifty-five health left is not a lot of health. Target acquired. Where'd they go? Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> as soon as I saw a ring of tanks. Look at this. Look at all the heavies camping the base. Like, no wonder their team's losing. They needed you out there fighting, you clowns. Not camping their base. Uh, I think that'll be okay for me. I didn't do a ton of damage, but I think I did a fair bit of spotting. I think that'll be an okay battle. Uh, Teddy lost, as we know, so let's go. Oh, look at the win rate on this just plummeting. This is an elite tank, too. Oh, it's not. We have uh, 2,600 to the next gun, which we don't really need. But um, in any case, the point is we keep losing. I think that's partly due to the fact that we're... I don't think I've ever been top tier in the T-80. I certainly haven't been today. And this is like, what, three or four? So it apparently does not get very nice matchmaking. I don't think the crew is really that fantastic either, which is probably another hindrance. In any case, here we are. Kharkov, T-82, SU-5. And was that four artillery? No, just three. Okay. I don't know what I was counting as artillery. Oh, I think I counted the T-82 as artillery, which is silly. Uh, one on Sand River, not a shock. They have two KV-1s. Oh, come on, matchmaker. Why do you keep making me lose in this tank? Time to roll out. Why can't you give me, like, just one battle that's going to be a cakewalk for me in this beast? Damn. Oh, no one's coming this way, so I'm going to do spotting for no one. That's fantastic. Well, forget this noise then. Well, at least I spotted him, I suppose. That's something. We got two destroy tank destroyers penned in the bottom there as well. I'll do my best to try and keep this ram lit up. So our T-67 lost to theirs. Which is not good, because now we've got our chance of being flanked there. Thank you. 
Oh. Look at that. It wasn't even him that got me. It was this T-67 around the corner. That's nonsense. Absolute nonsense. Well, team, I hope you come back. Because we got flanked hard. One on Sand River. We kind of knew that was happening. Uh, that's not as good as I thought it would be, actually. That's kind of crummy. Wow, look at that. Because I did no damage. I guess I did no spotting either. Oh, I did some spotting. Wow. I, I really thought I'd done better than that. I thought that was an okay battle for me, but it turns out it was a it was a shit battle for me. That sucks. Um, then next up would be the Churchill 3. And it'll probably be the Churchill 3, the T-80, and that's probably going to be it for the day. Which is good, because I'm pretty tired and it's almost 11 o'clock and i got to work in the morning. I'm top tier. We do have a 220, thankfully, helping me out. We're back on Sand River. Okay. Um, there's only one enemy artillery. It's an M41 though, which is pretty good. I think I probably want to kind of head over that way. That barely broke 30 kilometers an hour downhill. Not a fan of the speed on this beast. Was that guy asking a question or making a comment? I'm not entirely sure. Lost in our T-80, not a surprise. Should be worried about their artillery, I think. Penetration. Penetration. Gunner is dead. We're shooting blind. That one bounced. Target acquired. Target released. Alright, artillery, all their heavy tanks are on this side. I hope you're supporting it. Them. 
So I can't pen with the premium either. Hmm. It's not a surprise. The T14 does have a very strong turret. I was hoping to get a round off into his track or something. Well, I think the SU-85B was on fire. And I'm alone on this flank, so I'm going to back into a more defensible position, I think. If I can find one back here. Yeah, I'm going to die here. Oh, did that T-14 go down? He took artillery. I don't think he's dead, though. We did have some decent artillery support here, but unfortunately he's been trying to support, I think, all flanks. That KV-220 probably needs to make a push now. I don't think there's much between him and the enemy artillery. Yeah, I don't know. That could go either way. We're kind of ahead, but I don't think that... KV-220 is going to move for the rest of the game, which is going to essentially make him useless. So Artillery's going to have to take out that uh, T-14 if we plan on winning that. All right, T-40, last battle of the day. Or T-80, I'm sorry. T-80. I've got T-14 on my mind. And my win rate on this thing is just continuing to plummet. I just cannot get a break, it seems. Uh, although it looks like we do have the advantage here. as far as our team goes. I notice the stats aren't showing up anymore. I wonder why that is. There is a new uh, update available for XVM. I might have to install that to uh, get the stats back for whatever it's worth. I, I never placed a lot of stock in them, but maybe some people out there wanted to see them. And none of the heavies are coming this way. All right. Well, let's hope the enemy doesn't put a heavy this way. Not a very big rock, but it's better than no rock. Well, they obviously got some spotter somewhere. Gee, thanks, M2 Medium. That's a great spot. Dump cough. Du bist ein Arschloch. Yep, I'm gonna die. I'm definitely gonna die. 
There's no doubt in my mind that I am headed for Dead City. Permission to engage. Oh, what a... All because that M2... Ah, sometimes this game frustrates me. Online games, everybody. Where you have to deal with people just going two inches in front of you because they think it'll work for them. And saying, forget you. I don't care. 47.77, how did that happen? Huh. Well, I'm not quite sure how that worked out, but okay. Um, do I have time for one more? I'm going to do one more. Let's do a T14 battle. And this will be the last one, I promise. I'm just really curious to see if we get a win in our uh, Churchill 3 battle. That's really why I don't want to log out yet. I want to see what the score is like. So we're low tier heavy. Beautiful. With two birdies, ugh. Meanwhile, they have two real artillery and we only have one. I think we're in trouble. I think we are very much in trouble. Uh, normally I'd be tempted to go to the town as a, you know what? I am gonna go to town as a heavy. I'm way out on this flank. I'll continue to stay on this flank. I was gonna say on an encounter battle here, I probably wanna go down into the near the cap circle where my armor can be put to good use. But you know what, if we can get in here, help deal with some of the nonsense out here, hopefully none of the enemy heavies come this way, uh, and then head down, we might be of better help to our team. Oh, and another heavies, T1 heavies coming this way as well. Well, that's now really overdoing the heavies on this route. I don't think we need anywhere near this many heavies on the north northern route. Uh, so we did win in Sand River, okay, good. That's nice, at least. Enemy armor is damaged. And the T-80 lost already. Wow, that was a quick fight, wasn't it? And they did send a heavy this way as well. Yikes. I was not expecting that. I think I need a little bit more aggressive angle there. Going for the turret ring here. What do you mean we didn't even scratch them? They're nowhere near as big a tank as us. There we go. That's that same Hellcat who's still up there, I think, hiding behind a bush. I'm very frustrated now. After the T-80 losses, one after the other, and other nonsense. All right, Sand River, how do we do? Wow, 5,000, not bad. Not bad at all. Look at that third in the list thanks to a lot of spotting fantastic how's the crew doing up in the 90s beautiful oh that's not it it's this crew oh we've broken 100 percent mark holy smoke so i need to look at what crew skills to take for all the people that have uh, passed the 100 percent mark uh for the churchill excellent how's the fury crew coming not bad in the 80s um and then t14 crew into the 90s all right nice well uh I'd like to do more because, uh, you know, I got premium. There's times five, but I, I unfortunately I got to work, so I got to get to bed. Uh, but if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. It really does help me out. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. For now, though, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.